our number system is a base 10 number system. And that means that the way that our place values are is actually determined by powers of 10. So to give you a sense of this, if you just got a three there, it just means three ones. But the minute you shove, shove that three over one to the left in its place value, it's no longer three ones, it's three tens. And then move it further over to the left, it's now not three tens anymore, it's three ten tens, it's three hundreds. And move it even further to the left, it's now three thousands, which is three ten times ten times ten. So basically what you're seeing is that every time you move the place value one over to the left, what you're doing is actually getting 10 times as big with your number. And if you move the place value one to the right, you're going to get 10 times as small with your number. And this gives us a very easy way to do our multiplication by 10 or whatever. Say we have to do what is 50 multiplied by 10. Well, we know that multiplying by 10 is just moving you one over in your place value. And so what we're going to get is 500. And say if we now wanted to do instead 60 multiplied by 100, well, what we're going to do with 60 is we're going to multiply it by 100, which is just a 10 and then another 10. So we're going to multiply it by a 10 and another 10. We're moving it over two place values. In other words, it's now going to be like that. And if we wanted to do division, so say we wanted to work out what's 800 divided by 10. Well, if you're dividing, you're just going in the other direction, right? You're moving the place value over one to the right. And so you will end up here with the answer of 80. So multiplying by 10 just changes, or dividing by 10, just changes your place value. A shortcut way people talk about this is, of course, you just put a zero on to the end, right? So for every 10 you multiply by, you put a zero on the end. So here you're multiplying by 100, you must put two zeros onto the end. Just a quick word of caution, which is why I've put this little stuff in here, is that shortcut is very nice for when you're dealing with whole numbers, but of course it doesn't work when you're talking about decimals. So if you're at seven and you divide by 10, you just changing the decimal place one to the right and so you get 0 0.7 and similarly if you're at 0 0.8 and you multiply by 10 you don't put a zero on the end what you do is you change the place value one to the left and it becomes eight being able to do multiplication and division by 10 is very quickly and easily is useful because actually I use it a lot when I'm going to approximate answers before I actually go ahead and do long calculations. So if I look at something like this, 1425 divided by 21, I always like to know before I start doing long complicated calculations approximately where my answer is likely to be so I can know in the end whether when I get it out whether I've got it into the right kind of an answer. So this thing I can say look it's that's 1,400 approximately, and this one's quite close to 20. So I have to divide 1,400 by 20, which means I've got to divide it by a 2 and also by a 10. So 1,400 divided by the 10 is going to get me to 140, and then the 140 divided by 10 is, I mean, divided by 2 is going to get me to 70. So I know that when I do this calculation, I should get an answer close to 70. And if I go and actually do that calculation, I get an answer of uh, 67, comma 8, etc., etc., etc. That's I know that that's probably right because I had approximated it as being 70. Okay, and then if the same work would do a multiplication, 53, that's quite close to 50, 62, that's quite close to 60. And of course, 50 is just a 5 with a 10 and 60 is a 6 with a 10. So we've got 5 multiplied by 6 is 30, but we've got a 10 and another 10. So our answer will come out to be somewhere around 3,000. And if I actually go and do the calculation, I get, just get it, I get 3,286, right? And then I know that's probably right because it's close to what I approximated.